Smashed well, the, it. the MBN, we already knew it was bad, but with costs blowing out, connections feeds crumbling and custo com customer complaints surging, it's turning into a full-scale nightmare that taxpayers could be stuck with. Guys, the future sucks. We were promised jetpacks, flying cars and a world-class broadband network. Fibre optic to the premises, nationwide. But here's what we got instead. Get it. After years of cost cutting, lowered expectations, and confusing techno babble, fibre to the node, fibre to the curb, fibre to the premises. NBN Australia has been forced to admit that only a quarter of fibre to the node customers will ever get the much vaunted top speed of 100 megabits per second. That's millions of Aussies getting much less than they were promised. Oh, and the government's ignored a joint parliamentary committee recommendation to abandon its patchwork approach and use more of that deliciously fast fibre optic cable. I've been uh, involved with the NBN from the very early days. What we are trying to do is combining an old network that in some places is 50, 60 years old with new fibre technology. The weakest link is going to make sure what you actually get at home. And the weakest link is that copper network. That's why we have all the problems. The government reckons it has to keep costs down or it'll never be able to sell the bloody thing. But who on earth would want to buy something that's old, slow and temperamental? No company is going to buy the NBN for $50 billion and then to have to invest another $30 billion. So you have to lower the price by at least 50%. So remember when the NBN was going to future-proof the country? <laughs> As the Communications Minister, Mitch Firefield has slow broadband on his hands. Welcome back to the Project Minister. A lot of people at home right now are really disappointed with the NBN. So why have you failed to deliver the speed you promised us? Well, the, the good news about the NBN is that uh, it's on track, uh, it's on budget uh, and it's on time. Uh, yes, with a project of this magnitude, when you try to uh, switch 11 million premises uh, to a new network, uh, there will be some teething problems, but uh, we're absolutely committed to and will deliver uh, what we promised, which is that 90% uh, uh, of the uh, NBN fixed line network uh, would be able to have speeds of uh, at least 50 megabits per second. Uh, absolute committed to uh, the guaranteed mandate uh, of a minimum of 25 megabits per second across the network. Uh, these are good speeds and they're speeds that uh, can meet the needs that people have in their homes and in their businesses. Senator, there was more to that promise though because we were also told that uh, there'd be this top speed of 100 megabits per second, that's the figure that's been used very regularly by your government, uh, and NBN Australia has been forced to admit that only a quarter of fibre to the node customers will ever get that much. Well, Hamish, uh, our commitment has always been uh, that there would be a, a minimum mandated speed of 25 megabits per second across the network, regardless of technology. Uh, that will be delivered. Uh, we've always promised uh, that 90% uh, of premises in the fixed line network uh, would be able to get speeds of 50 megabits per second, uh, and that's absolutely the, the case. And you mentioned, uh, in particular, uh, the fibre to the node part of the network. Uh, yes, it's true uh, that 25% uh, of premises will be able to get 100 megabits per second. Uh, but 80% uh, of uh, premises uh, on the fibre to the node part of the network will better get speeds uh, of 50 megabits per second or more. So we're absolutely delivering on what we promised. And uh, I should point if out... If you're doing uh, such a great uh, job with the, the NBN the Minister, why do you think so many people are disappointed? Why have you got so many unhappy customers? Well, look, I think it's, it's partly uh, an issue of, uh, of expectations, that uh, uh, people are getting to understand that uh, on the NBN that there's a, a range of different products that you can purchase from your retailers uh, at different price points, uh, and people are finding out uh, what is the, the right product for the needs that they have. Now, I, I should point out, and I think a number of you on the panel uh, would enjoy Netflix, maybe even a bit of Netflix and chill on occasion, uh, to watch high-definition <laughs> Netflix at home. <laughs> To watch high-definition Netflix at home, you only need uh, five megabits per second. Uh, so uh, I think one of the issues is people don't necessarily understand what it is they need to meet their needs. As I say, you only need five megabits per second uh, to uh, watch uh, high-definition Netflix at home. But, Minister, when, when we were first presented with this NBN proposal, it wasn't just about meeting our needs. It was about looking into the future. And we were going to have world-class infrastructure with as global innovators. 
Are we to give up on that dream and just be happy watching Netflix? <laughs> Look, we're, we're absolutely uh, going to have a network that is fit for purpose uh, and uh, fit for the needs that we have and that can be upgraded uh, as, uh, as the need requires into the future. Um, what you've got to bear in mind, I think, is that uh, the approach that we're taking, the multi-technology mix, using the technology that will see the NBN rolled out fastest and at lowest cost is actually what's done in the United States. It's what's done in France. It's what's done in Germany. Uh, this is uh, the common approach. And uh, what we have with, the, with this approach is an NBN that will be completed by 2020, which is six to eight years sooner than would have been the case under our predecessors, and at $30 billion less cost. But, and this is really the kicker, uh, the approach that we're taking uh, will see internet bills $500 a year less than they would have been under the approach of the Australian Labor Party. Well, Minister Fifield, enjoy the crown tonight and thanks so much for your time. <laughs> Good to be with you. Normally appointed as the Minister for Netflix and Chill, I think. <laughs> Stick around and we'll be back right after this break.